For three months, starting in October 2019, something was missing from San Francisco's skyline. One of Sutro Tower's three top masts disappeared as it was dismantled, rebuilt, and new television antennas were installed. Each antenna weighs thousands of pounds, the work is extremely precise, and it all happened more than 900 feet in the air. There's always workers maintaining the structure, painting this or that, taking care of the tower lights. But the big projects only happen about once every 10 years. Replacing our TV antennas is a complicated, delicate, and intricate project. These big projects tend to happen because of technology changes in the industry. To address the growth of wireless devices, Congress authorized the Federal Communications Commission to convert a portion of the radio frequency spectrum from television broadcasting to wireless uses. So TV broadcaster signals had to be repacked into the remaining frequencies. Sutro Tower installed nine new antennas so Bay Area stations can broadcast after the repack transition. The tower industry has a very unique cast of characters that actually do the work on these tall towers. Every day, these men and women put on their safety equipment, climb up that tower, do the work that needs to be done. They're an amazing group of individuals. The TV antenna project was complicated, literally years in the making. Taking old antennas off of the structure uh, and then reinstalling the new antennas that were channeled appropriately for the repack. When we found out that we would have to change the channels, we started out having to figure out, well, how do we do that? What are the new channels going to be? Then what antennas would we have to have? How much then do those antennas weigh? What structural components have to be replaced? Then how do we actually attach the hoists and the rigging to the tower to accomplish this? All that took three and a half years of design. Equipment had to be removed from the tower. That included old antennas that were no longer useful, tower steel that was no longer useful, transmission line, guy wires, nuts, bolts, lights, you name it, it all had to come off. Of course, we have homes all around us and we can't let anything happen. No dropped bolts, no dropped tools, no, you know, we've got to be super delicate and careful up here. And then we started working on removing the old antennas that were going to be taken off the structure. And there was, I think, seven of those that came down. We ended up removing over 100,000 pounds of steel from the tower. Once the tower pieces and equipment were removed from the tower, we started rebuilding that tower stack. So new sections of, of tower steel were assembled on the ground and hoisted up onto the tower one piece at a time. All of our antennas were manufactured in Raymond, Maine by Dielectric. They're one of the greatest TV antenna manufacturers out there. And they were shipped all the way across the country to San Francisco. The antennas weighed thousands of pounds, some of them up to 15,000, and they had to go 900 feet in the air. Then there was electrical testing, tuning for the systems before we turned the switch and put the power on. This is happening at over 650 television stations around the country. However, Sutro Tower is one of the only places where there are multiple antennas on one tower in the United States. Wireless television, wireless radio, cell phones are wireless. All those technologies require towers. Sutro Tower will be here for a long time.